Wow. <laughs> what a vibrant day, everybody. It's nine in the morning and it's polar night. So it looks like this all day long, 24 seven for a bit more than two months. <laughs> Some days I'm just like, wait a minute, what? I love this though, but it is wild, isn't it? Welcome back to Svalbard everyone. My name is Cecilia and I live on an island close to the North Pole and we are in our polar night season. Our island is located so far north that the tilt of the earth hides us from the sun for four months, leaving us in a complete darkness for over two of those months. The sun set for the last time at the end of October, and ever since then our days have grown darker and now there's no visible difference between day or night, leaving us in a long polar night slumber. If you've been here before on my channel, welcome back. And if you haven't, welcome to life in the darkest place on earth. It's about, I don't think, I think it's maybe minus six degrees, but it's no, not a lot of wind. So it's okay. It's a good wake up. Yeah. So now we live in complete darkness and uh, life continues like normal. Everything is open. I think the only big difference is our flight schedule with the airplanes. Now we get about half of the flights every week. So oh, that was cold. That was a little bit of wind anyway. But so there are not a lot of changes to our lives during this season. We basically just kind of embrace the darkness and cozy up inside or we go on moonlit hikes or, you know, because it's a long season. There's no use in complaining about it. But I personally love the dark of the polar nights. I find it so cozy and just, it's so wild that this is a thing, you know, because we're so far north that this is possible, that we get constant darkness for two, over two months. <laughs> I just feel like that is something we get to experience rather than we have to like endure. You know what I mean? So today I'm going to take you through the entire day to show you exactly how dark it is because I think it's very difficult to explain but I think mostly it's difficult to imagine what that actually looks like. You know, you keep thinking maybe like, oh, it's nine, it must get lighter. No, <laughs> it doesn't. So that's what we're doing today. So I shall see you at 11 o'clock. Come on, come on. As you can see, not a lot of light, huh? It is 11 in the morning. 11 in the morning. Oh, tuck. Oh, yo, yo. Getting some playtime in. Oh, you gotta play a little bit. Grim becomes such a little sofa pig during this time of year. All he does is sleep. <laughs> He wants to be inside. He thinks being outside on his own is scary. So we kind of have to force him out and be like, let's play. Let's do this and that. And then he likes to. He wants to do everything together. Look. Everything together. This time of year. Oh, it's so vacker. It's a little cold. Just a little bit chilly. Not too bad. Yeah. 
We are having some toasty days here on Svalbard. It's windy and the snow is melting and Grim is not having it. So this morning I caught him on his computer looking at photos of, not himself this time, but Finland. Sunny winter wonderland, Finland. He said he needs to go explore his routes. And he also told me about how you can use NordVPN to get cheaper flight tickets, which is just such a coincidence because NordVPN just happened to be sponsoring this video. So flight prices can change depending on many different things. And there are actually a bunch of things you can do to outsmart these price fluctuations. One of these is to use NordVPN and connect to a server in a different country in order to find cheaper flight tickets. A VPN will also hide the data that airlines use to customize prices and it will also encrypt your traffic so you can avoid customer profiling based on your actions and data. Head to nordvpn.com slash Cecilia or use the code Cecilia to get the exclusive deal of four months for free on a two-year plan. It is all risk-free with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. Thank you so much, NordVPN, and let's head back to the video. Ooh, you drop it from me. believe that it's 1 p.m. Me neither. Look at this. Uh, there's also a snowstorm coming our way. What is that, Christopher? Looks very ominous. <laughs> It's very beautiful today. We've had a little bit of mild weather these last few days. So we're very happy that it's snowing and that it's below zero. It's just about below zero. Look, it looks like a little like Santa Claus village. Oh, I love polar night. How do you feel about the polar night? I like it. You like it? Come closer. How do you, <laughs> what do you think about the polar night? <laughs> I like it. It's dark and it's nice. And yeah. You can do nothing for a couple of, for a month. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of like the time of year we just chill. But today we're running errands in town. So now we're going to head over to Nubin and drop off some books to Angie, who wants to borrow a Quartz of Thorns and Roses. And then we're going to go shopping at the store. Shopping I... big time. I just don't be leaving it. Okay, let's scatter. What's the filter? And so quiet. It kind of always is, but especially during polar night because it's so, you know, it isn't busy in town and the snow makes it so quiet. Oh, look, it's so gorgeous. We are actually outside of the polar bear safety zone, but you know, we're with the car, so it's fine. But generally, if you're in town, you shouldn't go past who sit down there. And then you can see on the other side, that is the other safety zone exit. I was gonna say uh, last point. So we're gonna head over to Nibinu. We're gonna just have to drive down there and all the way around and uh, drop off some books. I can't get over the beauty. This is, I think, one of the first days with complete darkness. If I think about it, maybe yesterday was also, but definitely one of the first days with just darkness all day. But it looks a little bit lighter on camera. I can tell you that, but it's because it picks up so much light. But, whoa, how gorgeous. Also, do you know why it looks a little bit lighter? Is because there's clouds above the village and that picks up a lot of light from the uh, different lights around. So it also makes it a bit lighter. 
So even though it's like full on darkness, I feel like this is a pretty light day to me. <laughs> I don't think this is that dark. It looks like winter wonderland for God's sake. Green, we're going. You don't have to be so mad at me. Oh, it's a little bit cold. Oh, so gorgeous. <laughs> This is at 3 p.m. Still a light, the same as before. <laughs> Room's going bananas because he's very excited about being in town. <laughs> okay. Let me just count the this watch. As you can see, it's not a big difference, is there? <laughs> I'm gonna say that at every single time step. So we're out here now by the polar bear sign and this marks the end of the village going this way. And if you follow this road the other way, all the way through town and out, then you get to our cabin. So this is just pretty much opposite sides of that road. And yes, of course, after leaving this one, this is, basically the point where you need to bring polar bear protection, which is a fryer arm of some sort. There's not a lot out here. We don't, we only have about 60 kilometers of road here on Svalbard. So there's not big road trip opportunities, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But what we have out here is a bunch of cabins. We have some different businesses like dog yards for dog sledding. Up there on the mountain is also the mine the coal mine, the last coal mine that is also closing down soon. Uh, yeah, so that's basically what you got out here. And on almost every single snowmobile adventure that we go on, they start here. So this is Advent Dalen, Advent Valley, and it's a very long passage to wherever you want to go. So if you want to go, for example, to the East Coast and you come here and you book a trip, you're, you're going to go through here, most definitely. But yeah. We are getting some more snow. Well, we've had some more snow coming all day. Now it feels like it's in the middle, kind of hiatus. Also, another fun fact now that we're here, this is our drinking water. All of this here that's frozen now, that's our drinking water. So you can't drive on it. You're not allowed to, you know, walk on it or anything when there's snow and ice. You can't swim in it. But yeah, interesting, interesting. Another good fact. Now I gotta go and get my nails done. They're in here, I'm not gonna show you, it's too embarrassing, I ruined them. But I think I'm gonna continue the glitter phase of my life and just get some more glitter. I'm so excited. It's 7 p.m. Looks the same, doesn't it? <laughs> I just got, uh, went, what, I just, wait, hello? I just got my nails done and it's so quiet and so calm. Look at all the houses. It looks like it's one of those toy cartoon kind of Christmas towns. You can hear the dogs from the dog yard all howling. I think somebody might be, you know, taking out a sled or something. Wakes all of them up. If you have private dogs, maybe huskies, and you can't have them in your apartment for some reason, or you have your own sled team, you have them in the uh, dog yard that's for the locals or you know people's huskies or local small sled teams and stuff like that 
dog sledding teams that is now we're gonna head on home it's so quiet Good. Oh, you, you in a haunt. It's still snowy and it's still dark. <laughs> Who's surprised? <laughs> Very surprised. Oh, <laughs> do you know why it's cold? It's only minus four, but it's been, it's a wet cold. Then it goes to your bones, doesn't it? Grim, it is set. Skal vi gå lägga oss? Jag kom här då. Hopp upp. Det är så bra på det. Och det är set. Åh, tack. That was a kiss. Oj, oj, oj. Now I'm gonna go to bed. So we're gonna leave you guys and we're gonna see you next week. So if you want to continue and see the polar night madness that we can call it, my favorite time of year, subscribe. Maybe turn on notifications if you wanna get notifications on when I post, which is every Sunday. So thank you so much for watching this video. The madness of polar night will be here for a long time. We have, what, two months left, two and a half. So we've just begun. Game call! Oi, 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 oi! Oh! Fuck, what a complex!